Our question today is from Ray, who has a four-year-old son who is uh, giving him a little bit of trouble. He writes, hi, I hope you can help me. Uh, whenever my four-year-old son is in timeout, he screams bloody murder uh, the whole time. Uh, I can't stand listening to him. Uh, it just rubs me the wrong way. Uh, maybe I'm just too sensitive. But what can I do about this? And also, when is he supposed to come out of timeout? Uh, well, Ray, the answer to your question is, first of all, number one, <clears throat> if you have trouble listening to it, um, I had the same difficulty. Nobody enjoys that kind of thing. Uh, sometimes you're, you're best uh, putting in earplugs or putting on a headset. You want to still be able to hear the child, you know, if the, that they're still in the house. Uh, but it tones down the noise level a little bit and can make it a little bit more tolerable. You can put noise on in the house as well. That can be fairly loud. The other thing, uh, a lot of people forget this with 123 Magic, but if the child is under three, uh, we're going to let them out when the time's up, when two or three minutes are, uh, are up. You let them out, you say, time's up, you walk away. If they keep screaming, they get counted again and they go back. Uh, but otherwise, you just let them out and you start over. If the child's over four, uh, then we uh, let them cry it out until uh, they're done, then the timeout starts. Now, if you have a child with a history of separation anxiety and their screaming could be because they're scared, then you're going to do a timeout differently. Don't close the door. Put a gate up. You sit outside the gate, but no talking, no eye contact during the uh, rest period itself. So uh, good luck. It is a difficult situation. It's no fun to go through. Uh, hope this helps.